here is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. Oh, you have a lot of energy. Do you know what is energy? Yes, you are right. Energy is the ability to do work. Okay, there are many sources of energy. For example, sun, wind, water, etc. And yes, energy also comes from your muscles. Let me tell you a secret. Do you know energy cannot be created or destroyed? It can only be stored or transferred. <laughs> oh, you look confused. Let me explain it further. All energy in this world exists in two forms. One is called potential energy and the other is called kinetic energy. Remember, potential energy is stored energy in the object whereas kinetic energy is energy of motion. Let's see a few examples of potential energy. Have you seen a catapult? It has so much stored energy that it can throw stones to distant places. Also, look at this big rock on the slope. If it falls down, it can do a lot of damage. It has a lot of potential energy, which means a lot of stored energy. There are three types of potential energy. Let's look at each type. See, this stone on the top of the mountain has gravitational potential energy. This is also called potential energy of an object due to its position. Now look at this. This is due to stored energy of the spring. <laughs> this is a battery. This contains chemical potential energy. It can light a bulb. Now let's look at kinetic energy. See this? The stone is falling down. Now it has kinetic energy. The potential energy has changed into kinetic energy. Now look at this pendulum. It shows clear example of potential and kinetic energy. If you hold the pendulum on one side, it has potential energy. But as you release it, the potential energy gets converted to kinetic energy. So stored energy and motion energy. It is stored energy and motion energy. So now you understand energy. Good then, keep dancing. Remember, potential energy is stored energy in the object whereas kinetic energy is energy of motion. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. Oh, it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.